Hello guys, welcome back. Today I have for you a toned ab workout for beginners. No special props are needed, just grab your mat and we'll get straight into it. Coming over into downward facing dog. So you're gonna take your hands wide and spread your fingers apart. Tuck your toes under here, engage through your core so you're lifting up. You're gonna take your hips up high and push back. Now from here, I just want you to pedal out through your legs a little bit and that just helps you lengthen the muscles through the backs of your legs and your spine, which just allows you to feel a little bit more comfortable in downward facing dog. So you'll just feel the stretch through your calves, through your hamstrings. All right, now just coming back into stillness a little bit more here. And just know that in downward facing dog, you can bend your knees. So typically you will see the pose with the legs straight here, but that's challenging if you don't have that level of flexibility. So it's okay to bend your knees. What I want to happen here is that your spine is long and that you're extending, you're pushing your hips back and you're pushing your heels towards the ground. That doesn't mean they get to the ground. So in order to do that, you might need to bend your knees. All right, now I want you to focus on your belly here, your core. So as you breathe in, you should feel like a vacuum sensation through your belly as your belly button draws back towards your spine. And then as you exhale, you can just let your muscles of your core relax a little bit more. Couple more breaths. Beautiful work. And let's come down onto all fours carefully. Now from here, we're gonna stay exactly as we are, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your right knee up and out. Now the important thing here is that you stay activated through your core. So I don't want you kind of letting your belly hang down and let gravity pull you down. I want you to keep that engagement here. And that also comes through your arms. So you're pushing away from the ground. Your shoulder blades are squeezing towards each other. Your shoulders are drawing back. And that helps you maintain nice posture so that your core can stay activated. So although it looks very simple, there's a lot going on. Let's get into it. Let's go for 10. Three, two, one, and release, other side. Eight, nine, ten, and stretch your right leg out here, point through your toe. Just the same, I want you to lift up, engage as we lift our leg up lower it back down. So you're moving with so much control here. Your pelvis is staying as flat and neutral as possible. Four more. And release other leg, stretch your left leg out, really engage through the foot and the leg, and we'll raise our leg up. Breathing deeply here. The tendency to hold your breath when something's challenging, so just be mindful, make sure you're not doing that. Four more. Beautiful, and release. All right, come on over onto your bum. We're gonna take a reverse tabletop. So your fingertips are pointing towards your feet. And what you're gonna do here is we're gonna lift our bum and you're gonna sway up into a reverse tabletop. I want you to keep your chin tucked to your chest. Your hips are lifting high here, your belly is hugging in. And then we're gonna sway back. Bum just ever so slightly touching the ground as you do that. And then we're gonna sway up. 
You got it. If you want it to be a little bit more challenging, then don't touch your bum to the ground. Four more. And release beautiful work. Let's come down onto our back now. Okay, now we're going to take our pelvic tilts here. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift your pelvis up and your back flattens to the ground. Hugging in through your core and we brace here. One, two, three, four, Five, then you release everything. So there's space now between your back and the mat. Your muscles are relaxed. Let's go again. Breath in. Pelvis lifts up. Pelvic tilt. Brace. One, two, three, four. Release. Again. Brace. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Again. Brace. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Again. Brace. One, two, three, four, five, release. Now we're going to do 10 really quick ones. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful work. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to lift up into bridge arms coming up over your head. Hips are as high as you can and then with control we roll down our spine <coughs> and your arms come back down as well. Let's do that. So your arms are nice and long and stretched out. <clears throat> and as much as you can, keep your knees in alignment on top of your ankles rather than letting them kind of sway out. <clears throat> or come in. You've got three more, you guys. And draw this beautiful work. Now from here, bring your legs up into the air. You're going to flatten your back to the ground like you did in your pelvic tilts. And then we're going to extend our right leg and reach our left arm back. And then bring it up. You got it. And we're going to do 10 of those on the one side. Four more. Beautiful work. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a little rock from side to side. Just relax through your muscles momentarily. And then we're going to switch to the other side. So extending your left leg, right arm is going back. And release as much as you can. We want your back pressing into the ground, your muscles activated as we move through the active part of this exercise. So there's a momentary pause when you come back to center and that's your moment to just let everything relax really momentarily. Two more. Beautiful work. All right, come and lie on your right side here. You're going to bring your right hand behind your head. Your bottom leg is coming out to the front. And we're going to raise the top leg. Now I want you to focus on activation and length through your core so we're not kind of hanging out 
relaxing on the ground, but we're, we're still activated here. You can bring your left fingertips in front of you, bringing your leg forwards. We're gonna take our leg up and back and to center. So taking a circle, essentially. Your circle can be smaller, your circle can be bigger. You just see what works for you and I want you to maintain as much stability as you can. So we're not moving through the upper body really. Beautiful work, two more. And release. Let's switch on over and do that to the other side now. Okay, setting yourself up. Stretching your leg out, core engaged. We're gonna bring our leg forwards, taking it up and around. Nice work. So this is also about flexibility really. <clears throat> Not just about strength, but how much flexibility you have through your hips. And your core is keeping you stable and strong and still as much as you can. Three more. You'll feel it working through the muscles of your lower back as well, <clears throat> which are also part of your core. One more. Beautiful work, all right. I'm gonna get you to come and lie down on your back for our last exercise. So bringing your knees up here, I want you to press your back into the mat so you know where you're going with that, where you feel the activation. Take your hands wherever you like. We're gonna drop our knees out to the side. As far as you can take them, you'll feel a stretch through your inner thighs. And then we squeeze our legs back together. Our back is pressing down, our core is engaged. You got it. So there's that momentary pause that I talk about. When you get back up to center where you can just let your muscles relax ever so slightly, ever so momentarily. Because what I want you to learn, or what I want your muscles to learn is that, um, that action of engagement and release. Engagement and release, or activation, contraction, and release. Okay. Five more. One more. And release. Amazing work today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for today's ab workout. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, give this video a like. Go and have a beautiful day and I will see you for our next class. Bye, guys.